ராஜஸ்ரீ வெங்கட்ரமணன் எண்பது வாக்கு இங்கிலீஷ் ஷார்ட் ஆண்ட் ஸ்பீட் டிக்டேஷனாக வாய்க்கிறது ஓரோ டிக்டேஷனும் நாலஞ்சு பிராவசியம் மினிமம் ஞங்கள் பிராக்டிஸ் செய்யணும் அவுட் லைன் உறக்கி வாய்ச்சதின் ശേഷം இங்கிலீஷிலേക്ക് ட்ரான்ஸ்லேட் ചെയ്യണം ட்ரான்ஸ்லேட் ചെയ്യാൻ மறக்கிறது தெட்டுகൾ കാണുന്ന ஃப்ரேசஸ் 10 15 பிராவசியம் எங்கிலும் பிராக்டிஸ் செய்யுக டெக்ஸ்ட் உள்ள ஃப்ரேசஸ் அட்வான்ஸ் ஃப்ரேசோகிராஃபி ஸ்பெஷல் கான்ட்ராக்ஷன்ஸ் இதൊക്കെ പരീക്ഷയ്ക്ക് മുമ്പ് ഒരു റിവൈസ് ചെയ്യണം സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യാത്തവരുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ചെയ്യുക കമൻസ് അയക്കുവാൻ മറക്കരുത് അറ്റ് ദി വെരി ഔട്ട് സെറ്റ് ഐ ഷുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു അഷ്വർ ദ ഹൗസ് ദാറ്റ് ദ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ഷോൺ ബൈ ദ മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ദ ഡിഫൻസ് പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ഓഫ് ദ കൺട്രി ഹാസ് നോട്ട് ഓൺലി ഹെൽപ്പ് me educate myself in the task assigned to me but also i am confident it has heartened soldiers in general the soldier is essentially a bundle of emotions and he loves to be noticed and talk about the parliament is unanimous in its desire that its soldiers they are whether on ground sea or sky are always happy and contented their trust is great indeed it is difficult normally to appreciate the services a soldier renders to the nation so long as there is peace people are apt to forget the value and worth of a soldier it is only those who are either abroad or on the border that appreciate the blessings of the freedom of the mother country i want to remind politicians that in the ultimate analysis it is their standing army which enables them to pursue their ambitious plans for the welfare and progress of the people i should like to take this opportunity and send our warmest greetings to every individual soldier wherever he is before i enter into the discussion of the various points raised in the house yesterday and today i as minister in charge of the organization wish to give one assurance to all soldiers and officers engaged in our army navy and air force that their happiness and the well-being of the people and property which they have left behind shall ever remain as our foremost concern i am proud of the opportunity the leader of the nation has given me to come in the closest touch with those lacks of souls who have pledged their bonds and flesh to the cause of the nation's freedom i know that i am taking a very great responsibility on my shoulders when i broadcast this overall assurance to all soldiers sailors and airmen i am confident that in this task i shall have willing 
and ready cooperation from all the state governments and their officers who will extend to the members of our defense forces both past and present their full sympathy and understanding in dealing with their affairs time was when each member of the army navy or air force was considered to be the subject of special concern of district and provincial authorities now a failing is growing among our men that they are not paid the same attention which they had under their alien employers it may be an unfortunate impression but the impression is there and i think it is time that we assure our boys who are prepared to lay down their lives in the defense of the country and the call comes to be free from the common anxieties and concern in respect of their domestic problems of their hearts and hopes and the property land and property etc i need hardly emphasize the fact that while the present day warfare has begun to be based more and more on scientific advancement and mechanization of all weapons of war and ammunition the ultimate victory does still depend on the normal physical and spiritual equipment of the soldiers i congratulate the officers in charge of the army navy and air force